So the IRS called my house this morning saying that they filed a lawsuit against us for um, tax reasons. I'm not exactly sure the voicemail was really bad, but uh, we're about to give them a call and um, have a little fun. Hello, can I get your name, please? This is Officer Jason Todd. Jason Todd? Todd, from Internal Revenue Service. Where, are you, you? where are you located? 1111, 1111, Constitution Avenue, Northwest Washington, D.C. Can I have the number on which you receive the voicemail? Um, yeah, sure, it... Wait for a moment, let me check your case file. This is his son. This is his son. Alright. Well, this call is basically a courtesy call made to you. There's some relevant information about the lawsuit which is being filed against you by IRS attack. Now, as for the document, there was an object conducted by the federal government on the tax filed for the year 2008 to 2030. And we found that there is a miscalculation error and taxes that you have filed doesn't match the tax record that we have. That means you have underpaid your taxes for last five years. So according to section 101, this amount is still outstanding on your name. You have not paid. Now I see that the total balance outstanding on your name is $6,200.85. Pending taxes, legal charges, and late fees. Hey, excuse me, can you hold on for just one moment, please? Wait. So, Hello? obviously. Yes, can you hold on for just one moment, please? Okay. Thank you. So, if you didn't notice, he asked if this was. But that's my dad. I told him, no, this is his son. The IRS does not speak to someone's son about somebody else's tax information, let alone their debt, what's going on to collections and whatnot. So this is already one major flaw that that you can see. Let me go back to this. Okay, so let me uh, let me just explain one thing to you. Um, I used to work in the legal industry, and uh, I'm running into a few problems. The uh, first of all, if if um, if the IRS is filing a lawsuit, they've missed a couple of steps, you know. First, they're supposed to um, send some legal documents um, stating that they're going to audit our accounts, and uh, that has never come through the mail. Um, another problem is if we did um, ignore any letters that came from the IRS, then they would levy our accounts and garnish our wages, if, uh, if that ever was the case. So, um, do you have a case number for me? Did, did you hear what I said? Sorry. Sorry about what? No number. No number? No case number? No. So how did they file how did they file a lawsuit against us and there's no case number? I, I would need a case number to be able to follow up with this. You know, I I would need to bring this up with uh with our lawyer and uh <laughs> Thank you very much.